Do you wear a watch? Sometimes. Well, you must not have it on right now because this hospital has designated visiting hours and these aren't it. I have no idea what you're talking about. You're just lucky that you know the right people because your friends are very pushy. I don't have any friends. You better tell them that. Oh, when the saints, oh, when the saints go marching in, go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh Lord, I want oh, to on. be a number. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, wow, you got a big in the flesh, and a lot more of it. Oh man, we thought you joined the Elvis a long time ago. No, 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 I fly out of the radar. You look pretty good, my man. Oh, man. How did you all... You. You did this. <laughs> man, it's been years. Look hey, at man, you. You're getting older. Look at you. No, no, you're getting older. Both of you getting older. In fact, you look older than me. Both of you. Twice you know. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's good to see you. <laughs> After giving up Stacy's baby, I just felt so... Ugh, blah. You know, like, getting up in the morning isn't worth the effort. I'm sure the breakup with Patrick hasn't helped. Well, you would think that, but honestly, he hasn't even crossed my mind. Really, I mean, losing Anna has just hurt me so much. I just, you know, I really don't have time to cry over another relationship gone bad. Except this one wasn't supposed to. Can't really predict those things, can you? I mean, love is a roll of the dice. You roll a seven, you crap out. Doesn't sound like you. <laughs> well, I'm not the same inexperienced girl you used to hang out with. I know that people change. Yes, exactly. People come together for a reason at a certain point in their lives, and then those reasons change and they move on. You know, and then that's what I realized, that I have different needs, and what used to be fulfilling before is almost meaningless now. Almost. You're in a strange mood all of a sudden. Did I not meet your expectations? Your performance was impeccable, as usual. Well, that was good for me, too. Please don't be angry, but this has to stop. This. Us, whatever we're doing. A relationship requires an investment I can't afford to okay. make. Well, sick, Leela, I don't require investment. Well, I do. I tend to fall in love with the men I sleep with. I don't mind if you fall in love with me. Please don't make light of this. I know what you're doing. I do the same thing in the beginning, duck and cover, and then run like hell. You don't have to do it. I don't expect anything more or want anything more than you're able to give right now that would be fine if any of this was about you but when i'm involved i tend to lose focus on everything that matters so being involved doesn't matter not as much as the promise i made my parents i swore to them that i'd reclaim the status they once enjoyed in iran before they were kicked out nothing is more important so consider me another notch under your belt and we'll leave it at that The saints. Oh, when the saints go marching in, go marching in. Oh, when, when the, the saints, saints go marching in, oh Lord, I want to be in that number. Oh, when the saints go marching in. <laughs> <laughs> Same for us. Oh, yeah. Do so. When Nurse Johnson called, Rick and I caught the first thing flying. <laughs> you two stayed in touch all this time. Yeah. Well, it took a while. What, 10 years? <laughs> Rick finally reached out, you know? <laughs> Still trying to fix things. You never know, right? Hmm. Hey, man, the way I saw it, the Saints were dead and buried. Ain't no sense to hold on to what went bad. Especially when there was so much good and only three people in the world could possibly understand. Yeah. Tried to reach you, too. Well, the Saints cost me a lot. It was either a letter to poison my soul or put it behind me. Yeah. Let me see that. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen this picture, and I, I don't even want to know how long. Look how bright and shiny we were. Bright and shiny? Those are the smiles of some damn fool. <laughs> <laughs> Do something. You just too old to remember being young. I'm looking at it right now. I mean, check out that young dude. Oh, who you pointing at? <laughs> Look at yours. <laughs> Fried tied and laid to the side. Oh, man, just I'm the way the ladies you. like this. <laughs> I'll get started on the ladies. <laughs> you know, I'll never forget. I believe it was at the Apollo. Toughest yeah, yeah. audience in the world. Our yeah. manager yeah. had just hired that little blonde girl right, to do right. publicity. Oh, yeah. right. I forgot exactly. to tell her that yeah. those blondes didn't go over well. <laughs> 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 backstage. <laughs> Toussaint pulled up in the limo. <laughs> and, and that girl, what was her name, Paula? Right. <laughs> Tried to get out of the car. <laughs> you could feel the outrage. <laughs> I saw a log coming through the window, right? Okay. You know, I never could figure out where that, where those girls got a log in an alley. <laughs> Man, you shot up out that sunroof so fast. Oh, I just bought that limo with my own money. Hey, Specialized right. in everything. I wasn't about to let anybody wreck it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Those were the days. Uh -oh. I tried to contact her. No such luck. Yeah, well, Michelle always been elusive. <laughs> Except when it came to you. You know, I'll never forget that night when Leland came bursting into my hotel room. Greg. Naked as a jaybird. And drunk as a skunk. Waving his gun around, threatening to blow my head off. <laughs> Partners or not. If I went anywhere near Michelle. That boy never could see what was right in front right of him. Right in front. Man, Michelle was just as naked as hiding in the closet. <laughs> you know, uh, laughing so hard, I thought Lita would hear and kill us both. <laughs> <laughs> Lita never did forgive me for Michelle. You got that right, hot shot. You said when we spoke that things between you and Tassan were permanently broken, you refused to come. What changed your mind? Leland is here for a front row seat for the biggest show in town. My death, right? Partner. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed for you. Do you understand these rights? Hey! Hey! What's going on? Hey! I just want to the net. I hope you're enjoying the fruit of your so-called labors, Dr. Winters. You're responsible for this. If you just give me the help that I was begging you for, I wouldn't be going to jail. And your father would still be alive. What's that supposed to mean? The old man didn't deserve to die. But she deserved to lose him, to suffer. So I killed him. I pulled the plug on Roger Winters' life support, and if I knew it would cause his bitch daughter even more pain, I'd do it again. Yes. <laughs> Jacqueline's vindicated, as he knew he would be. Nothing even remotely suspicious in Fair Jolene's background. Uh, in fact, She's led a remarkably trouble-free life. It seems that the worst thing that's happened to her is the, yeah, is the death of her father. Her, wait, wait a minute. Her father died? Uh, yeah. How? Where? Uh, in a hospital. Right. No, she told me all about it. Uh, they suspected negligence, and um, her, her, her mother never forgave the hospital. <laughs>